thank you very much for, for this nice invitation and you have given me an opportunity to give a talk today. And today I get a focus on uh, the topic where we are trying to investigate uh, vector mediated transport properties of the blood brain barrier colloid transporter. And the aims of the projects are first we have to compile the database of the transporter active and inactive molecules. Second, we have to identify perspective active drug-like molecules via uh, molecular docking mechanism. And the, uh, the third is to compare uh, our results and compare their docking uh, performances. Further, we have to emphasize the, the role of this transporter in the blood brain barrier formation and correlate uh, the results of our experiments where we uh, finally obtained from previous studies. And to finalize the, the presentation, we also have to emphasize the role of the transporter in the blood brain barrier permeation using log BB passive and active indexes. So I'm trying to be very quick with the results, just to, to summarize here of them. And here we uh, analyze our group of our molecules. And as you can see, the, the, the molecules, they are uh, now clustered in, in these two big groups, which are colored here as actives and inactives. Therefore, uh, using our molecular docking studies, it is possible to cluster them and uh, check the activity of these molecules using some parameters like Gibbs free energy of binding, for instance. The second that data we, that we had obtained is we clustered each of these two groups active and active blood brain barrier uh, uh, choline transporters, uh, transporter inhibitors, and we come up, came up with the result that if you have an active molecules, that these molecules are much more interacting with the blood brain barrier choline transporter. And the energy, for instance, here is also decreased. It's up to less than minus 6 calorie per mole here, and if you have inactive molecules, that the energy is increased. That means the, the interaction of these molecules and the possibility of uh, possibility of these molecules to interact is of course much less at this point. And we clustered this this database again using this time number of heavy atoms in each of molecule. And here you can see that the clustering is also uh, takes place with high probability correlation coefficient. Here you have clustering of active and inactive molecules and they are nicely clustered using uh, threshold at minus 6 and 20 atoms as well. The same we obtained for both algorithms either for orthodox procedure or for orthodox Wiener method. Here the same again, we used uh, different uh, indexes here. This is root mean square deviation in comparison to number of heavy atoms, torsions, how they are influencing in, uh, in, molecular, in molecular rank according to find the best heat fit uh, heat, heat lead compounds and here you can see that the highest molecular rate also has a uh, lowest the highest number of torsions on the other hand um, the, uh, the root mean square deviation value and torsion to, and torsion in the molecules the uh, especially root mean square deviation behaves uh, the same 
yeah. in irrespectively to a rank of, of the molecular compound. Here we are trying to compare our experimental results and our theoretical findings for our compiled database and we achieve this goal using uh, bi uh, constant bi of bind, predicted constant of binding here and experimental constant of binding previously determined in, in the experiments by, uh, by other groups and, uh, and you can see that despite of um, quite low correlation coefficient we still have a tendency that the uh, constant of predicted constant is also in, at some point in correlation with experimental constant of binding which is quite interesting here and for both of our algorithms the, the correlation the coefficient is quite quite similar so that means that our our algorithms they are performing at the same at the same rate the performance is quite similar despite the, the differences in the algorithms as themselves so and we are trying to visualize our results and we try to screen our database here using the 3D structure of our blood barrier choline transporter which is known to be important in uh, in the uh, in the active transport through the membranes here and uh, he is presenting the mechanism how the molecules will interact with this choline transporter our choline transporter have a positive charge therefore they, uh, they have a tendency to occupy the negatively charged area inside of the protein to, in order to uh, increase the affinity to this molecule and the uh, final results would be that we try to find some similarities in clustering using different descriptors for instance log BB descriptor and despite of this we, we found that the, 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 the distribution of uh, the molecular distribution using different descriptors is quite, uh, quite drastic here and here as well but the interesting thing that uh, all our molecules they are below the, the threshold for the um, PCA descriptor, descriptor which, which, which is stand for polar surface activity and it is known that if you have a polar surface activity above 60 that probably this is not good a uh, good uh, molecule to permeate for the BBB therefore these molecules they are in, uh, they are promising in uh, permeating through this blood brain barrier on the other hand the low BB value is, is also negative for all the, these molecules and there, therefore the permeation is also tempered with uh, insufficiency of these molecules to permeate through this VBB. On the other hand, we analyzed log BB passive and log BB active value, which is, uh, which is known, the log BB value, which is known to be a concentration in the blood versus concentration in the brain. So we can deduce the activity of the compounds to permeate through this blood brain barrier. For instance, if, we, if you analyze blood brain barrier passive mechanism, then we'll see that the molecules are permeating in a much less way than the control substance, donepezil, which is known to be a best a good permeator through this PBB. On the other hand, if we will take into consideration our active part which played by the blood brain barrier choline transporter then our substances will permeate at even better rate and uh, the, the rate permeation would be close to our reference substance 
which means that our Rudabin barrier collin transporter plays an important role in the permeation of drug like molecule across the blood band barrier in, in, this, in this way. So, to summarize the results, I just want to point out that blood band barrier collin transporter is the, has the potential as the drug delivery vector to mediate the permeation of these drug like substances to the central nervous system. The second is the binding energy prediction highly correlated and they both docking algorithms they are performing the same rate. Uh, in I, they are able cluster of our compounds to to two to, to groups, the active and any inactive molecules. In ranking of these molecules we found that the, we have a, if we have a molecule with few torsional bonds then it might also bias and produce some false negative outcomes and we detected these outcomes but on the other hand if we will take into consideration log passive and log active values we can come up with an idea that this blood band barrier calling transporter is important in the active transport of drug like molecules across the blood band barrier and uh, this is all about it and Thank you for your attention.